welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sandra and I'm a nurse practitioner. And today's video is going to be about compression sock sizing and how to take measurements for a proper fit. So after posting a few videos about my favorite compression socks, I've received a few questions about compression sock sizing and how do you know what size to get? So today I'm gonna to walk you through the basics of taking your measurements for compression socks in order to obtain the best fit possible. So I am not affiliated with any compression sock brand in particular. I'm just going to reference the ones that I use, but compression socks are a lot like buying a pair of shoes or jeans. You just have to find the brand that is the most comfortable for you. So that may take some research and reading up online about their sizes and their fit. The two brands of compression socks that I currently use are CEP Compression and Pro Compression. And I just find that these socks fit me very comfortably and they provide good support and compression for me. So a properly fitted compression sock should not hurt while you're wearing it, should not pinch around the foot or the ankle, should not pinch around the top, and it should not allow swelling to occur while you are wearing them. So the amount of compression is measured in millimeters of mercury, so you will see MMHG, and there are different ranges for the amount of compression. The higher the number, the firmer the compression will be. Most over-the-counter compression socks for sports or activity are in the 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury range. That is considered a moderate compression and it provides a good amount of support while you are exercising, running, or even working all day, standing on your feet or walking. So 8 to 15 millimeters of mercury is considered a light compression and 15 to 20 millimeters of mercury is considered a mild compression. There are also higher levels of compression. I think the highest is 40 to 50 millimeters of mercury, and those are usually used for medical conditions. So the sizing of compression socks can vary from brand to brand. So as you are searching for a good compression sock for yourself, and after you've taken your own measurements, make sure you look at each sizing chart individually for each brand, because the sizes can vary from brand to brand, and it's not one size fits all. So make sure you look at their individual sizing charts. So gradient compression or graduated compression means that the tightest compression is around the ankle and there is less compression as you move up along the calf. So in the 20 to 30 millimeters of mercury compression, for example, the 30 represents the compression around the ankle and the 20 would represent the compression around the upper calf. Also, there have been some questions about calf sizes. Some brands do make wide calf compression socks. I know Pro Compression does. Also, some people have shorter or longer calves, so you may wanna look into a mid-calf compression sock as opposed to a knee-high compression sock. So there are a lot of variations of compression socks, so just make sure you pay attention to all those little details when you're shopping for compression socks for your needs. One thing I do wanna mention is that the compression sleeve, which does not have a foot to it, they usually end right about here, and then they just slip over top of the calf. Those are not recommended to reduce swelling during flights. They are only recommended for activity. So you do not want to use them during a long travel on a flight to prevent swelling or blood clots. You would want to use the sock version for any long travel by plane, car, train, etc. So this video is more for measuring for compression socks you would buy over the counter, such as these. These types of socks are typically used in healthy patients, people who just want compression during exercise or to provide more comfort during their long shifts at work. So if you're looking to start wearing compression socks for a medical condition such as lymphedema, definitely go through your medical provider and they can prescribe you compression socks that are professionally fitted. So I found this awesome little measuring tape at Hobby Lobby. If you have one of those near you, it was only 99 cents. Otherwise, you can find these on Amazon as well. But it's a pretty good quality tape measure for the price and it has inches on one side and centimeters on the other. And then it has this little button here to retract it when you're done. So it's reusable over and over. So I would definitely recommend this little measuring tape for taking your measurements. Okay, so when you're taking compression sock measurements, there's going to be the ankle measurement, the calf measurement, the thigh measurement, and the length measurement. Now for these types of over-the-counter compression socks, you usually just find your size based on your shoe size and the calf measurement. You don't need anything more. The thigh measurement would be for a full length compression sock that goes all the way up to the groin. The length measurement is helpful if you're looking for a compression sock that is longer or shorter, and then you can just match it up with a sock that meets your measurements. Okay, so ideally measurements for compression socks should be taken first thing in the morning when you wake up. They should be measured right on the bare skin, so not over top of any socks or pants. 
And it is also recommended to take these measurements while you are standing. So if you have an extra set of hands around, that would be helpful as well. So for the ankle measurement, you want to measure around the smallest part of the ankle here, which is right above the ankle bone. Okay, so next for the calf measurement, you're going to measure around the widest part of the calf, which would be right about here. So same thing with the thigh, you're going to measure around the widest part of the thigh, which is usually right around here. So for a knee high compression sock, you're going to measure the length from the floor up to the bend of the knee here. So you're going to go from the back of the foot up to the back of the knee here. Okay, and then lastly, for a thigh high compression sock, you're going to measure the length from the floor up to the gluteal fold. The nice thing about this measuring tape is there is a little extra room here that you can anchor it under your foot if you are doing this yourself. Okay, so once you have your measurements, you can match those up on the sizing chart of the brand of compression socks you are interested in. So here I'm on Pro Compression website and every website has a sizing chart somewhere. So for Pro Compression, it's under Health, and then you can see a little tab here that says Size Chart, and we can open that up. And then the size charts pop right up. So on the top here is the regular full calf compression socks. And as I already mentioned, you usually only need a shoe size and a calf size for these over-the-counter sports compression socks. So for example, if you were a size seven shoe and you had a 12 inch calf, you would be an extra small. And then they do have the wide calf size chart here. For mid calf compression socks, they only go based on shoe size. These are the calf sleeves I was talking about. See, they have no foot there. And these are the ones you do not want to wear for long travel to prevent swelling or blood clots. These are only for activity. And like I said, whatever brand you're interested in, make sure you check out their own individual sizing charts because they vary from brand to brand. So you wanna make sure you have the correct measurements for that brand. And so also, as you can see, the calf size overlaps between sizes. So what I have found is that the brands typically recommend sizing up. If your calf size, for example, is a 13, they recommend sizing up rather than sizing down, unless you know you want that tighter compression. All right, you guys, so I hope this video was helpful. If you needed some further understanding of compression sock sizing and fit, if you have any questions or comments at all, please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them for you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you get all my new videos as soon as they go out. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.